Pi 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 there should be, will be, no sorts of mercy for the merciless. The picture that you see on your screen, that is of a young lady. Her name is Georgia Blunt. She is from a place called Kitsentown, Brandon District, to be specific. In that place, she is known to be a good person. She delivers water to persons in need. Essential. She is also said to be a farmer, very reliable person. Whenever anybody wants anything, she will be there, whether a morning, noon or night. You could call her anytime. The people them love her. She is one of those persons that looks out for all of the kids in the community. However, she lost her way. She and the boyfriend, his name is Royal Fuller, her name Georgia Blunt. On Saturday, at about 7.30, she left in the morning like she always do. The last call that anybody got from her was maybe about almost 2 o'clock, 1.50 something. She said that she was going to do her last delivery. That was Saturday. Nobody heard from her since then. The body was found Monday at about 9.45 in the morning after them launched some sorts of search team. The body of both, meaning Royal and Georgia, they were found in an abandoned building. As a matter of fact, it was a dog that saw the search team and pretty much led them to the bodies. When them go, people and tie up, people lose them life. A-S-S-I, nation style, you know exactly what I am speaking about. When that happened, the people must say, then hold on a minute. And who could an evil so for really take with this lady? and the boyfriend. The lady is from the area. The boyfriend is a recent transplant. However, the people in the neighborhood, the residents know them as very good people. Nobody now have nothing bad to say. It is said that the two suspects that were responsible, one man named Shartman and the next man named Ryan Colburn, Colburn, O.C. Mashi. The people them start say, they don't know say, Mashi and him family. They are from a troubled family. Nothing but crime producer from the father who is Washi, son Mashi, father Washi, to the mother Blossom, to the next brother Dylan. All five of them nothing but criminals and the parents meaning Washi and Blossom. They are facilitator, beneficiary of the crime. The whole family corrupt. It is said that this whole family is like the boogeyman anywhere in a kitchen town, Paul Mountain, Red Pan, everywhere they are known. Them put all sorts of fear in a people. I am going to give you a little history of Ryan, meaning Mashi. It is said that before the incident as it pertains to Miss Georgia Blunt. There was an eight-year-old girl, apparently. The family crossed him. The family of that eight-year-old crossed him. He then located that eight-year-old, jump over our fence, him and her next friend, and push up all sorts of things in her hair. He also has a next brother. That brother's name is Dylan. It is said that Dylan take away the life of a man of unsound mind. He was riding a bike. Him lick down the man, case go a court, case get dashed out, nobody no show up. Not only is this family a set of criminals, everybody, the mother, the father, and the five brother them. Them have all sorts of poor poor link. So therefore, whenever them get na any sorts of trouble, meaning the son, for some strange unknown reason, the case just disappear. Poof, Houdini, as if it never happened. Based on the information, like me say, word on the street got out that, yeah, then the little man and Ryan are mashy, them call him. And them responsible for Georgia. So they told him, listen, 
Keep away from Kitson Town. Keep away from Paul Mountain. Keep away from Red Pond. Don't come around none at all because whenever you come around, even though they are not the only criminals, when them come at town, it seems as if the Popo, the JCF, the JDF, everybody get all sorts of news. Same day about the and then the Popo and the soldier start corral the place. So therefore, it was bad for a legitimate business and even worse for illegitimate business and the criminal elements in the era. So therefore, them tell him, say, listen, do not come back, none at all. However, people, the other day, he came back, even though he got all sorts of warning, it seems as if he did not read the notice board, he never get the memo. So therefore, they caught him slipping. I have the picture of him laying on the ground, pretty much on him knee. It seems as if them take him out A-S-S-I-N-A-T-I-O-N style, a couple of them in him head. It is also said that they took two tools away from him, not the popo. However, it is the bad man. Now, people, when me ask me, Ling, some of me ask you a question. You know, have no picture of him before or after. Them say, no, we have the picture of the incident. But you see the man there? Him father, remember him named Mashi and the father named Washi. The father is a top criminal. The father is one of those persons that knows the hilly terrain of Paul Mountain, Red Pond, places like those. So him always tell him, say, listen, nobody get into the social media era. Don't take any sorts of picture. So therefore, there is no sorts of picture. As a matter of fact, the father is even worse than the son. The father named Washi, like me tell you. Son named Mashi, father named Washi. He is what is known as one of them gorilla back in them sorts of days, them people eh, were hiding at the mountain whenever, whenever them get hot. Poor, poor soldier, look for them. So therefore, he is one of those bushmen, them call him. So people, at the end of the day, the fact is that Georgia Blunt lost her life. Royal Fuller, the boyfriend, lost their life in a very bad way. Good people. The good thing is that the people them catch the people that were wanted, like me say, Lickleman, and then this one, Ryan Colburn, the government name, O.C. Mashi, them catch him slipping also. Them took two toll off him, and they took away, most importantly, is three points. So people, I want you to watch what is going on. These people, the whole of them are criminal, five bread of them. However, the poor poor still working with them. However, the mother who is Blossom and also the father who is Washi. Them have link even though them wanted. So people, it shows you that corruption is the order of the day when it comes to Jamaica. Even the most notorious wanted people still have poor poor link. Is that even conceivable? People, it is crazy. Point blank and period. Now people, before I proceed to the next part of my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Further on in the news, this is an update about a story that I did. About a 30-something-year-old lady, her name is Alicia Peart, that lost her life in a Clarendon. She operates a restaurant, it is called Alicia's Homestyle Restaurant. Based on the information that is out there, she was there at about 12-something lunchtime when a man came in, ordered a food, and then wheel and pop off and take her out. However, here are the details. It is said that this man ordered two food he ordered one food him get the food he walked to the vehicle and he dropped off that food and then he came back apparently whoever sent him or whoever was co-conspiring with him was in that vehicle and got the confirmation that yes she is inside she looked like this she looked like that and that is when the man came back and piped her up they then jump in at the vehicle and left. Now when this happened, people are say, then hold on a minute there. Alicia and no sorts of crime people, she not in no sorts of mix up. We just know her for be a hard working lady, takes care of business, people person, people always 
gravitate to people like that, especially when the food is good. So therefore, the place was on and popping. However, based my information that is now confirmed, it is said that she has a daughter. That daughter is now 16. That daughter used to attend a primary school called Mineral Heights Primary School. Apparently, a teacher the name I did not get that worked at that place was touching up this little girl from she was about 8 or 9, 9 year old to be specific. So therefore, for in excess of 7 years or so, the case went to court. That man was arrested However, the brother bailed him out. The brother put up the bail bonds. However, based on information that is confirmed, since then, the brother has turned in the bail. So he is presently in a lockup right now. That case was supposed to go to court, I heard, the day after she lost her life. So people, you do not have to be any sort of Perry Mason or the sharpest detective in the bunch. If you know where exactly this is coming from. And the fact that this lady has always been getting all sorts of D-E-A-T-H threats. That is where it is coming from. So it tells us that more than likely this man that is accused of touching up this little picnic from she and nine. She is now 16. Name Lessie Ann Peard. So people may I show you some of the evidence. Now people, what do you do when you come from a community and it is hard for you to relocate, especially when your child is being touched touch up by some sorts of petty? The thing that you are going to do as any concern, good mother or good parent, is make sure that you go to court on those court dates. So this man wanted to touch up the people in Pitney Get lock up and then want to try intimidate this lady not to go. The thing is that I blame the system. Because if you know say, somebody is a key witness, the witness on a case that involves their own child. How is it that this person is allowed to be just out there, no source of security, no source of security measures, no source of witness protection program out there? Especially after she has been getting a whole bunch of T-H-R-E-A-T-S. This justice system in a Jamaica is an epic failure. And this is why people who are witnesses refuse to testify even when it is in their best interest. People just want to remain victims. They don't want to pursue any sorts of case. No care how serious it is. Whether it's pie pie up, whether a jump over fence, not none at all, because there is no source of mechanism into play. How is it that a man that is a suspect can be in a PRISO and a send out all sorts of threats and try intimidate the witness, the mother of a child that was touch touch up people? It makes absolutely no source of sense for stuff like this to continue to be happening on a daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis. The DPP, the justice system, the court, and everybody, they are a set of failure. And that is why Jamaica is in the situation like it is. It should not happen. It should not continue to happen. However, when we have incompetent, irresponsible people such as the DPP, such as the judge, such as everybody in the system, what should we expect? Jamaica, as far as I am concerned, the back of DOG, point blank and period. Further on in the news, it seems as if not only should we be concerned with these young youths, men that are out there robbing people at take with them life, it seems as if the women are also a part of the robbery and a part of the takeaway. So therefore, you, you pretty much cannot trust anybody. I am speaking about an incident that unfolded in front of the Pembroke Hall High School or school them call it. In which a taxi man on your screen picture right here was taken away right in front of the school maybe about 24 hours ago. 
That man is affectionately known on the road as pretty. You know, in a Jamaica, if you're pretty, people will call you pretty. And if you're the polar opposite, they will call you that also. If you're also kind of flamboyant and always are dressed up like pretty people, like kite, maybe you might also get that name. So anyways, based on the information, it is said that he was on that up in drive as a taxi driver. He picked up somebody. And when he dropped off that person at the destination, it is said that a woman pulled up. It is said that that last pickup that he did took a very long time. So people are probably surmising that the person or the vehicle was working with somebody else on the outside. It is said that when he reached the destination, somebody pulled up, looked like a woman. Most persons are saying that it is a woman. She pulled up, she tried to rob him, and then when she tried to rob him, something went way, way left. He was caught up in the head. I have the picture of him, however, because of YouTube's policy, you know that I cannot show it. Now people, when we think about what is going on in Jamaica, you could live your best life. You could be the best people person. You could be honest. You could have no sorts of criminal intention, no sorts of criminal friend, and still lose your life even easier than the wanted man. We are all equal opportunity praise. These predators are out for all of us. Based on the information, it is said that this man is what you call a people person, always smiling, great personality, not in any sorts of thing with anybody. However, people, it seems as if whenever these people are on their rampage, it does not matter who them get. Them no matter who or how much money involved, a life ain't worth ISH in a Jamaica. So based on the information, them calling him up. When persons saw exactly what was trying, what was going down, them try to intervene, them rush him, got a place of recovery. However, people, usually when you get a couple in the cranium, it is never going to turn out very good. Such is the case as it pertains to this. Again, another tragedy in the life of Jamaicans. You can be very good and you can be very bad and end up in the same destination, destination doom, in the afterlife, point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.